Hello everyone and welcome to this video series on the Cubase Logical Editors Explained. Now I find that this is a feature that many Cubase users don't really dive deep into and explore how beneficial this feature is. Basically to sum it up in the most simplest form, in the Logical Editors you can batch process a whole bunch of functions and actions and filters and apply it in one simple click. So you can have all these actions and all filters set up and all you have to do is run the presets or the setup that you've done, and it'll process a whole bunch of different actions and events that you've set up. So I think of it as a way to speed up your workflow and improve your productions in Cubase. And in this video series, we're going to take you through how to get into these editors and how to start using them. First off, I just want to explain the difference between the two logical editors. You've got one called the project logical editor, and then another called the logical editor. Now, this can sound confusing, but let's just put it this way. The project logical editor deals with things that you're doing in your project, like your tracks and other things like that that pertain to the project, where the logical editor deals with MIDI. So instead of getting things a bit confused, let's rather name the logical editor the MIDI logical editor. Now let's talk about how you get to each of them. So to get to the project logical editor, you go to the project menu and then down to project logical editor. And here you can apply a preset that has been saved in that logical editor, or you can set up your own. So in this setup option here, you will see all the presets and see how they've been built up and you can create your own. Now, if you want to get to the MIDI logical editor, you need to go to the MIDI menu, then down to logical editor. But this is great out here because you actually need to select a MIDI event before going into the logical editor. So if I select this event over here, then go to MIDI and then logical editor, you can see that now I can get to the setup and the apply preset. Just to show you the difference, if I hit apply preset, it's going to bring up all the presets and I can select which one I want to apply. So I can take this preset, I'm going to double the tempo and hit apply. And you can see that that MIDI data changes over there. I'm going to undo that. And this time, if I go to MIDI and then logical editor and setup, over here, it brings up the setup. I can also see the presets here. So I can click double tempo. And here it's going to show me the event target filters. So the filters that are set up here, and then what action is going to be applied. And then I can apply it. And as you can see, it's done the same thing there. So that's the difference between the project logical editor, which is in the project menu, and then the logical editor, or now what we're going to be calling the MIDI logical editor under the MIDI menu. So now that you know the difference between the two and what each does, let's dive in and take a look at some of the presets and how they work. 